Hi, this is Vladan from ESX Virtualization Block. In this video, I'm going to show you the deployment process of the VCSA, vSphere vCenter Linux appliance. Uh, the process is very straightforward, like every other deployment of the OVF file. <clears throat> Here I'm going to for thin provision and disk, but uh, you don't have to and I choose to power on after deployment. Okay, I'm gonna start deploying. We'll fast forward a bit. Okay, so it's powered on. We need to check the IP address of the appliance so we can log in through the web interface. Uh, I'm going to open a console. So you see the IP address is the 151 with the port number 5480. Username root, password VMware. We need to accept the license agreement. And we're going to cancel the visa because we need to first um, assign an IP address. And um, FQDN hostname. So I put an IP address, but uh, before I completely validate the IP address, I'm going to check on my DNS server if I created uh, DNS records. It's very important to have a DNS records created before you configure the appliance. So VTSA 55 it's over here, okay, and the uh, reverse. Uh, okay, so I have two records created, so I can validate the network setting. Now, of course, I have to change the address and reconnect to continue the configuration. Login back. And I can launch the setup wizard again. Okay. Now it's gonna take some time. No, but first uh, I have to assign the administrator password for the default user account, which is administrator the base fair local. This is the user account of the appliance. And I'm gonna hook up my Active Directory. during the setup process. This process takes three or four minutes. So here again, I'm gonna accelerate a little bit the video. This is really the simplest process of deploying the VTSA uh, appliance. Okay, here we should see the wizard uh, finished. And uh, we're gonna test. The login. Okay. 
Now just check out that all the services are running. You see the SSO, single sign-on service should be running, database service should be running, bit center server as well, and the SSO. So here we go on the login screen. You see the default port is 9443. Here we have to log in with the default uh, SSO login and the password that you have assigned during the setup process. And uh, going next, we go to the configuration of the single sign on where we're going to specify the identity sources. You can see by default there is one local identity sources, source. But we need to, we want to hook up to our Active Directory so we can manage the roles and privileges from within our organization. And you can see it's very fast, just snaps in there. You can also. No, we're not going to see it here. Yeah, now we here see the all the accounts of our Active Directory domain. Okay, let's test the if it working. Working, it should. So now I'm going to log in as my domain administrator to the vCenter server. And it's working. Marvelous. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.